Η Κέτη ήταν μικρό παιδί, πολύ ήσυχο, η καθαρσία την έκοψε από τριμηνών, ούτε τσίτσι ούτε αυτά έκανε μέσα, ήταν πολύ ήσυχο παιδί, ήθελε να ζει μόνο του, δεν ήθελε άλλο παιδί να σπεράγουν τα παιχνίδια, έπρεπε τα παιχνίδια να τα φτιάνε και να τα χαλάει μόνο. Η Δήμητρα ήταν ένα ωραίο κουριτσάκι, όμορφο, πολύ ωραίο, είχε τα δοντάκια, τα μαλάκια του κατσερά που γεζουγορά, και περπατούσε στραβά στραβά το μικρό μικρό παιδάκι. When I was young I was obsessed, you know. I thought it was so horrible and it used to be so hard to try and keep my mouth shut all the time because so nobody can see it and it was constant. It was just like a thing. I didn't get teased. And um, I always thought that I had quite bucky teeth so when I was young, so I was quite conscious about smiling in photographs that I didn't look bucky. When I was young, I thought that I had quite bucky teeth, so when I was young, I was quite conscious about smiling in photographs that I didn't look bucky. I was young, so I was quite conscious about smiling in photographs that I didn't look bucky. I was young, so I was quite conscious about smiling in photographs that I didn't look bucky. I was young, so I was quite conscious about Είχε ο πατέρας μου, η οικογένεια μου, είχε ο πατέρας μου, εγώ, η κόρη μου, η Δήμητρα, ο άντρας μου. Τα αδέρφια του άντρας μου είναι όλα με ανοιχτά τα δόντια μπροστά. Η Κέτη όταν ήταν μικρή είχε τα δόντια του πατέρα της, τα έχει λίγο έξω και ήθελε να τα κλείσει. My father... I can't remember. I don't think. I just think he didn't understand why you would want that done because I think he he always thought it was a handsome thing to have. He never saw his teeth as a problem. And I remember I used to look at his teeth and go, "Yuck!" You know, <laughs> he's got teeth like mine. I knew why she felt she wanted it done. Her gap was quite a lot bigger, and she her teeth were a lot more protruding too. They were a bit more bucky. So uh, I could understand that she wanted them done. And in actual fact, when she was going through the process of having her teeth fixed, I was glad that I didn't have mine done because she had a terrible time. It's disgusting. I had, um, I had to have this kind of minor surgery where they just ch um, they chop your cartilage between your teeth. So you can't see anything, there's not a mirror there because it's so gross, but you can hear this crunch, crunch, crunch as they cut through the cartilage and you're sitting there going, oh. And then everything's swollen and bruised and sore. No one came with me because mum and dad worked. And I remember walking in there because I wasn't sure what they were going to do. And the secretary said, you're a brave girl, come in here by yourself. And I said, yeah, yeah. And then afterwards I had to go and catch a train and I couldn't talk and I was like, oh, new town prison. <laughs> but it's like this big black abyss. It looks black between there, like it's deep red from being chopped. And you smile and it was black and over the next few weeks the blackness disappears and you've got solid gum again. Yeah, I was relieved that I wasn't going through that discomfort. Yeah, but when I saw her teeth finally, I thought they were really beautiful and I thought, oh, maybe I should have had them done. It's a good thing no, but see, the thing is, even though I didn't ever look at my sister, I always thought she was so beautiful, and I used to think that she, I didn't even see the gap in her teeth. I actually thought, how come she hasn't got one and I have? So it's funny how you perceive things, because I just thought, that's not fair. <laughs> I got stuck with a big gap if she hasn't got one. But now I hear people talking about her gap. I was still with my old dentist and about five years ago I went for a regular checkup, and he said to me, you know, we can fix that part between your, tooth, your teeth so you can have really attractive teeth. And he said, these days it doesn't, it's not very traumatic and you should think about it. 
And uh, I remember telling my sister about it, and, I, and my husband, I went home, and I thought, no, I don't want it fixed. You know, I just thought about it for a second, and I thought, no, not at this stage of my life. I, I couldn't be bothered. I wouldn't worry so much about it anymore. It's like any other body parts. By the time you're my age, you don't worry about, you know, your teeth so much or your breasts or all these other things. I mean, teeth was one thing I was obsessed about and the other things was my breasts and then all the, all the other things. So it's, it's a big package about how you see yourself as a young woman. And then it's not easy, it's not easy to do it. It's very good, I think. Ο άλλος δεν ξέρω πώς με βλέπω, αλλά εγώ νομίζω είναι ωραία. Γιατί είναι ωραία και μ' αρέσει.